G'day guys, um, sorry it's been a while, I've been busy and, um, and then the wife and I went away on a holiday uh, down south so yeah I'm back now. So anyway, we got back yesterday and I received some mail. Uh, this one here um, was sent back to me. Uh, It's got their international service irregularly, irre, irregularly, irreg, irregular. No, oh, I can't even pronounce the word. Irregularity. Um, return to sender. Article has been returned because, and it's got on here, um, of a reason beyond the control of the Australian Post. And then uh, they've also got marked off. Article requires CN22. So I have to check that out and see what that means. Uh, yeah, this was go. This package was going to um, to fill uh, Freedom Prospecting. He's in um, uh, up in Northern America there somewhere. Uh, yeah. So um, anyway, what I'll do is I'll go down to the post office and I'll find out what's going on with this because all it was uh, was a few guitar picks uh, that I made out of uh, some rocks. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Phil, if you're still waiting for these guitar picks, mate, I'll, I'll get them to you. i was just got to find out what the problem is with the post. And, um, yeah, so there was that. And then I got this package. I got this. I better not show me address. Um, yeah, so I got this box. And I know there's two guys who are going to send me some stones. Um, Pete. Pete from Queensland, I think he's up in Queensland, Pete, and um, another guy, I think it was Steve uh, from Victoria. So I don't know who this package is from because it hasn't got a uh, sender uh, name on it, so I don't know who it is. So anyway, we'll open it up together and we'll see what's in here. I know I'm, by the feel of it, it's, it's some rocks. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I've been busy uh, down south, and uh, of course, you know me. We went to a, a um, an area where gold has been found when we went on holiday. So I, I, I did some um, some rock hounding down there, and I, I brought home a couple of bucketfuls of rocks uh, that could have gold in them. And later on, I'll I'll um, I'll do a, do a video and I'll show you what I've what I've brought home, the rocks I've brought home, and. Uh, and I'll go through the process, crushing them and panning them out, and uh, yeah, and we'll just see if there's if there's any gold in it or not in the, in the rocks that I brought home. They were from an old gold mine, so chances are they might have something in them. Now, is it going to come out for me? Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Yeah. He's done a good job. Customs would have had a job trying to open this box. It must be childproof. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Now I can see who it's from. Ah, Gavin, not Steve. Sorry, 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 Gav. It's from Gavin. I remember now. Yeah, from Gavin. There. Um, yeah, from Clyde in Victoria. Thanks, Gav. I'll read that letter. Well, I'll read it now, I suppose, so everyone else can can see what you've written. Okay, hey Kev, thanks for the awesome rock, pick and pendant. That's, um, Gavin was a, a winner of my last competition. I'm sending you some rocks that my grandfather collected. He was an opal miner, oh that sounds good, in Andamooka in South Australia. Not sure what some 
but some are, but there is some Andamooka Matrix. Also, ones in the bubble wrap are ones I tried polishing. Love to see what you can do with them. Thanks again, and look forward to seeing more of your vids. Cheers, Gav. Good on you, Gav. Rightio. So now I know who the rocks are from, and um, Andamooka um, uh, Opal. Yeah, I, I have heard of that, that type of uh, stone before, so I've never ever um, had any to play with, but it looks like I'm about to. Okay, let's get some of this rock out and have a look. Well, that's cool. That's a cool looking stone. Yeah, it's, it's like a marble. And it's, it's, it's a nice heart position. Give you a closer look. It's, it's like a marble type rock. If you look at that, it's really shiny. And it's a hard rock. It'll polish up. I mean, this is just cracked. Maybe it's been polished on this end, but it looks to me like it's just been broken. It's just, that's a natural um, sheen of the rock when it's, when it's broken. It hasn't even been polished. And it's shiny already. So that's going to come up a treat. Yeah, I'll be able to slab this and um, make cabochons out of this easy. Just by looking at the stone, I can tell it's going to come up nice. Got some more here. It's another. That's another one. That's got the green in it, the nice lime green with the with the um, with the light brown. Yeah, they're, they're not, it's nice stone. Beautiful. And like I said, um, I'm not sure if you can see that sheen there, if this camera does it justice, but it's it's already, that's just fracture, that's where it's been broken, and it's got a beautiful sheen to it already, so it's going to be easy to polish up this stone. I can see the blue, the blue flash there. Just give it the old lick job, and I can see some red, and I can see some green. I'll probably have to wet these down in a bucket of water. I don't know if you can see the colours here. There's green here, there's red down the bottom, and there's some blues. I can see blues through it. Yeah. You can see green through the bottom of the stone here. Just in here. Yeah. I can see those opaly colours, the blues and the greens, the opaly colours coming through. But once I slice it um, on the saw, um, and uh, and then I'll be able to see the true colours coming out. And of course, once it's polished up, yeah, there's another piece of that stone. This one's got purples and greens. In it, I'll take some photos. At, I'll get out in the light. Um, I'm in the shade here. Yeah, I'll get out in the light and I'll take some photos of these um, of these stones, and you'll be able to see them, see the colours, the blues, the purples, greens. Oh, look at that! That's cool. That piece. You can see the colours there, purple, blue, green, all your uh, opal, your opal colours, look at that, that's cool. I can see there's a band going through the stone, and a band of colour, yeah. I love this sort of stuff, you know, th this is rock. I've heard of, like I said, um, but I've, I've, I've never ever, I've never ever seen it and live before. And now I've got some. There's a nice little piece there. Anamuka opal. Yeah, nice stuff. And then Gavs is also giving me this. That he. Uh, 
it's put in bubble wrap because obviously it's a valuable piece he didn't want it to get scratched or damaged in transit I haven't got my reading glasses on I can't even see what I'm doing here here we are it's got me a couple of oh yeah Looks like he's had a go at this piece. This piece here, um, I'll just wet it. This piece here is um, has been polished. Someone's had a go at polishing. I can see the green. You can see the green banding going through the stone. Oh yeah, and so I have to do this out in the sunlight. I don't know if you can see it there, but as I move it around, you see the the typical opal. Your colours flashing. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece of stone. That's nice stone. And this one here. This is the same. This is a smaller bit, smaller piece of stone. And it's got the, the flashes. You see the green. The green's in there. I can see green in there. Oh, a bit of blue. Yeah. But I'll have to... Um, I'll set these rocks out and I'll, I'll go over them with a spray bottle and I'll give them a squirt and I'll just so you can see but this stone here is a beauty this one here that's a beautiful piece of opal I can see the green banding all through it yeah okay these ones aside there it's a nice stone there well much Gavin um, I appreciate that and and um, I won't forget you what I'll do is I'm gonna make some uh, I'll make some pendants up mate this is this stone here go back to you that's too good for me to keep that's a beautiful piece of stone that's a um, beautiful opal mate I'll um I'll do this up and I'll do the few of these other these other um, opals these other stones I'll I'll do some um, pendants up for you and I'll send them back to you, mate. Yeah, you can have this one back. Like I said, this is a beautiful piece of opal, beautiful piece of stone. That'll come up nice. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, I might have some more opal coming from a, from another um, one of my subscribers. Yeah, he said he was going to send me that. That's why I wasn't sure who this was from. It was either coming from Queensland or it was coming from, uh, as it turned out, it came from Gav. Cheers, Gav. Yeah. And um, Peter from, I think Peter's in Queensland. He was going to send me some uh, some rocks down from Queensland. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's all great. I appreciate all this. And um, and I'll turn them into things. I'll create things out of them and I'll send them back to you. Yeah, as, as part of my appreciation. And also... Because I've got so much rock here, this is beautiful stone. I'll um, I'll make up. I'll do a video with me cutting some of these stones, and I'll make up some um, some of my uh, pendants or my creations, and I'll send them out to you guys. You guys are subscribed to me. You help my channel, so in return, I'll I'll, I'll send stuff out to you and keep you guys happy. Yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say this morning. That's just a little video. What I'll, what I'll do is um. Like I said, I'll, I'll put these out on a table out in the sunlight and I'll get my spray bottle and I'll spray them, spray them, wet them down and I'll take photos of them and you'll, you'll see the beauty of them. You probably can't see it at the moment. I'm in the shade here. Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching guys and thanks for being part of my channel. I appreciate you all. And uh, stay safe, take care. And I'll see you on the next one. My next video will probably be me crushing and panning some of that ore that I brought back from down south. Okay, guys. Bye for now. Here's a piece of that Andamuka opal that Gav sent me. You can see all the green and the purple sparkling in the sunlight. Over the top. You can see the green, the blue, the purple.
This is another type of rock. Um, it looks it looks uh, like an opal. It's it's obviously some kind of a um, so it looks like a marble. It's obviously some kind of um, opal. Well, Gav sent it to me. Said his grandfather uh, worked in the opal fields. Yeah, so it's some kind of a an opal. Um, but this this will cut um, and come up beautiful because it, it, it's shiny already. I mean, I'll I'll put water on it, but you, you don't need to. It's it's got its own sheen, its own luster, just on the uh, fractures. Here's another piece of that uh, that opal. It sort of looks it's it looks like marble. This one's got a lighter, um, like a lime green in it, with some light brown. Yeah, but all this uh, all these rocks will come up beautiful once I cut them. I'll cut them into pendant shapes, and then I'll um, I'll polish them up. Yeah, I'll come up a treat. This is a nice piece of stone. You can see the the blue, the green, the purple. It's only on the one side that I can see. Um, yeah, but I'll, that's that's all right. It's like a sort of like a bold opal. Yeah, it's just got like a, a thin bar on one side, but I can save that bar. Yeah. I won't know until I go check out the potch on the back, but I can see the bar there. It's, um, it's probably about, I don't know, one and a half mil thick, which is all right. That's cool. I'll make a decent pendant out of this stone. Here's another piece of opal. Blue, I can see blue, green, purple. This camera mightn't do it justice, but... Uh, Trust me, there's blue, there's green, there's purple, flecks all through this piece of stone. Yeah, beautiful stone. 